Welcome aboard, passengers. Mega Sim here. How are you doing? Hopefully, you are doing well. We've got a new news article, Electrostar Duet. Should we get into the news article? Let's go for it. The unmistakable sounds of an approaching train are getting louder. But which one? We take a look at the magnificent electrical multiple units featured in Rush Hour London Commuter. Coming soon to Trains in World 2. So with the upcoming Trains in World 2 Rush Hour London Commuter route, we will be taking control of two well-known Electrostar family units. The Class 377-4 in Southern Livery and the Class 387 EMU in Govia striking Gatwick Express livery. In addition to this, you will have a plethora of optional layers and AI services that a variety of other add-ons offer. Mm, that's a good one, isn't it? So your job will be to safely and efficiently drive these powerful units across the busy Brighton mainline, staying on time between London, Victoria and Brighton during the hectic rush hour. So let's take a closer look at both of these distinctive electro-style units and get a better understanding of their unique features. First, the 377. So following a successful bid of the 2003, uh, Govia was awarded an initial franchise for the line from 2003 to 2009, and then subsequent franchises to this day. In 2004, they chose to rebrand the previous South Central name and livery. Remember, we had Connex, didn't we, before then? So taking inspiration from the line's pre-grouping past, Govia created a respectful tribute in both name and design. So retaining a distinctive eye-catching livery featuring green, which is synonymous with railways in the south of England, and the name Southern, a polite nod to the illustrious Southern Railway that served the route and those around it between 1923 to 1947. So the 377 and each of its subclasses were built by Bombardier Transportation just around the corner from me at Derby Literature Lit Church Lane Works from between 2001 to 2014. And the four car 377 4 will be featured in London Commuter. And they were built throughout 2004 and 2005. And a total of 75 of these were produced, making it the most numerous subclass of the 377 to appear across the network. Services on the London commuter will feature 4-car, 8-car and 12-car trains, depending on the service. Designed to replace the dated slam door, oh, don't say that, I want the slam door, that was undeniably at the end of its working life, no, it could have gone on, no, it was a health and safety hazard. The 377 featured a variety of modern features for its time. All variants, including the 377-4, have the, cap the capacity to receive 750 volt DC from the third rail, and some of its subclass cousins have the additional option of pantographs and drawing 25 kilo KVAC. Sorry, from overhead lines. So we know that because we um, you're not seeing it yet, but the next video we will see a pantograph 377 Southern. So this variety in subclasses meant that those like the 377 which did not have pantographs are left with a clear void in the roof where pantographs could be fitted for future conversions if required. So passenger and driver comforts were also fitted to these units, aircon, external cameras, onboard toilets thankfully, but not thankfully because we can't access them on trains and world never mind and spacious areas for prams and wheelchairs were included across all subclasses and were popular amongst passengers and staff however they weren't without their challenges major upgrades were required of the dated southern region third rail power supply to facilitate the introduction of this unit because this was due to the substantially higher power consumption of each of the fully air conditioned units Mm, yeah, so it needed more power. It reminds me of uh, the Eurostar. So you know the Eurostar, they had the white rose, GNER. They had the uh, shortened version in the GNER colours. And when it came and left King's Cross, nothing else could leave or arrive because it took so much power. So yeah, they had to upgrade that. Anyway, Gabwick Express 387. So much like their older Electrostar cousins, the 387 was also built in Derby. The first of this Vivid 4 car unit entered service in early 2016 and 27 were ordered to replace the Wessex, the 442, 
on Gatwick Express services. And the brilliant red was chosen for the Gatwick Express livery is by far one of the most striking liveries to grace British railway networks, bringing a dose of colour to the often muted background of the London skyline. The Gatwick Express services are non-stop express from London Victoria to Gatwick Airport and also continue to Brighton, stopping at a handful of major stations compared to the southern counterparts. Top speed, 110 miles per hour, and the freedom to combine multiple four-car units into eight and 12 car trains, the 387 is the perfect unit for fast, regular services with plenty of space for commuters. Although built with dual voltage, so it does have pantograph, it does use the DC third rail on the Brighton main line. This new unit, uh, this unit, this new generation of electrostar units includes modern features, onboard Wi-Fi, aircon, the latest automated passenger information boards in several languages. Perfect for those visiting from across the world and arriving at Gatwick Airport. The highly detailed, fully licensed 377 and 387 feature in this exciting upcoming London commuter route, giving you the chance, the choice of busy local passenger and fast paced express commuter services and everything in between. Coming soon. Xbox One, Xbox Series XS, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, X Epic Game Store, and Steam. One thing I want to mention from this, this news article, just thoughts that I have. I don't know anything official. We've not been told anything. We find out the same time as you. The same as, a, as an ambassador, we find out the date the same time as you. Anyway, things I'm thinking of. First of all, Gatwick Express is currently suspended. But Southern are using the 387s for Southern services. What timetable are we going to get? Are we going to get Gatwick Express timetables? Or are we also going to get Southern timetables using the Gatwick Express train? I wonder. I wonder. Also, the bit that it said about automated passenger information boards in several languages. Will we get that on this train on DTG, on Train Sim World? Will we get information boards in several languages? I hope we do. That would be a nice thing to have. Because we don't know anything about the uh, information boards yet. Will it be... Because I think somebody said that we've seen the outside and we've seen the, uh, the, word, you know, the names of the stations going by. But will we get something internally? Interesting. I hope so. I hope so. Well, the only thing is, is that it does say that it has the screens and the cameras and we don't get that in trains and world but hopefully we'll get information boards in several languages because it's not that much different you just remember it's like welcome aboard please look blah, blah, blah. you just have it automated and you're just going through i would like to see that dovetail if you haven't done it already that'd be nice to see but no we've got some new images this week for the news article and we are looking through the previous ones from last week as well but yeah some really nice images there of the 387 and the 377 Looking forward to seeing this route. No date as of yet. We will be getting it soon. But as you can see on some of these images, we do have a 377-1 series. Is that a mistake or are we actually getting that? Because the front lights are slightly different on the 1 series. So yeah, let's see what we're going to get. But no, thank you very much for watching this short video. As I said, really busy with work at the moment. Um, so just trying to uh, battle all of that for the next couple of weeks. Uh, but then we will be back doing our videos again. Um, unless there is something really important like this. So yeah, just wanted to uh, get a few minutes to be able to do that. But no, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos from the Mega Sim. Social media links in the description below. We will see you on the next video. This is Mega Sim out here. See you later guys. Bye.